Hi Best Buds, it's Kathy with Kathy's Garden and I'm so happy that you joined me today. Today we're going to make some ephemera. I'm going to show you some ephemera that I've made using those background papers that we made. But first let's have our shout out to Spoily Girl, Judy, Sally, Lynn, Paper Lace and Sum, Annie, Jan, Dinah, Rachel, Colleen, Barbara's Chicken Pot Pie Society, and Eileen. I appreciate each and every one of you. All right, you guys, remember these beautiful papers that we made just in our last video. So I have taken some of them and I've created a few pieces of ephemera and then we're going to make one together. So the first one here is just a very sweet little faux envelope that just folds out just like this. Isn't that adorable? Then we have one that you attach to your page and then it folds out. You have journaling space. You have a pocket with the tag. Then this one right here is a three pocket. So you have a pocket right here. You have a pocket right here and you have a pocket right here. Now actually it could be four. If you only attach it to three sides, you could do another pocket right here. So I think that one's really sweet. Then we have this one. You open it up like this and you have a pocket that you can have a tag and some pieces of ephemera inside. You could actually put a little piece of coffee dyed paper over here if you want for some extra writing space. And if you want to glue it to the page, once again you can just glue it to three sides and use the top part for another tuck spot. I love this one. I made a, an envelope and I put some three-dimensional butterflies on it with some flowers and then over on this side you open it up. I love the color of the fresh blackberry juice. I think that's just yummy. Love it, love it, love it. And I love this paper. Okay, so here's one more. It's a different style envelope. I used a two-sided print printed piece of paper and then I cut my pocket out of my background papers to fit as the pocket and just a little bit of a decoration. So that's that one. So let's begin. Let's make one together. So what I think we'll do is we'll use the blue one and I'm going to get my Tombow glue and at the base of the Tombow glue there's an applicator that's a sponge and I think I'm going to just go ahead and use this around the edges like this. and just make some stripes right down it, just like that. All right, so then I'm going to take another piece of that beautiful paper that I used to put my stamps on when we were making our own background papers, and I'm just going to attach it, just like that. So. It just makes it more secure. I needed something that was a little more secure for this project. Okay, so now what I'd like to do is I would like to fold this down. And let's fold it down, oh, about, what is that, three, three inches. And let's crease it. And then let's bring this up, not quite to the crease. So let me line this up. And let's crease it here. So we did not bring it all the way up. Here's my fold and you see, well, let's just highlight that fold. Once the paper's wet and you fold it, it kind of gets kind of wonky on you. You guys notice that? There's the fold. And so see my paper isn't quite up to that fold. Alrighty. So now what I'd like to do is I am going to ink around this. Actually, I'm going to cut it before I do that. I'm going to bring my guillotine in. Hopefully it's not too wet to do this. 
and let's trim it to make it a little smaller. How about right here? So what did I trim it to? I trimmed it to about a four, somewhere around that. You can make it any size you want. Okay, so I'm going to dry this and then I'm going to come back and we can continue because I'm going to dry it and ink it because right now it's extremely damp. Okay, and I'll see you in just a second. All right, so I have gotten it dry and I've inked around the edge. Now I'm going to bring in my corner rounder and I'm going to, actually I need to trim this because I can see that it's not at all even. So I think I'm going to put it back in the guillotine and just give it a nice chop so it's even. Yes, that's much better. So now let's go ahead and round the corners. So here we go. All four corners. And then we'll probably need to ink it just a little bit again. And actually, since I cut that, I have a dog that does not need to go out, but she is whining. So if you hear her whining, I don't know what her problem is, but she doesn't need to go out. And the heat index out there is like 105. So she definitely doesn't need to go outside right now. Okay, so this is looking absolutely beautiful. I love, love, love the paper that we made. Let's go ahead and let's decorate it. I have a few things here, and I'm not sure how I want to decorate this. I'm actually thinking... I might want to put this inside. This is one of our teacups that um, is from My Porch Prints, and I love them. And I just opened this part right here. This part right here. So you can use it as a pocket. And I think I'd like to use it as the decoration inside of our little creation here. And I'm also thinking that I'd like to add a little bit of maybe some, maybe I want to put it here and here. Okay, I've got some ideas here. I think I'd like to place it right here and right here. So I'm going to plug in the glue gun, see what this dog wants, and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, I have a glue gun already, so let's go ahead and let's add some glue right here on the front. I have pleated some fabric that I thought would be very pretty to go with this. So let's glue that down right on there. And I think I have just enough to go ahead and put the rest right down here. Yes, I do. I think I'm going to turn it around, though, because it's darker at this end. So I'm just going to add my glue right on here. And then I'm going to place my ruffle right on there, my fabric ruffle. So now, oh, that's pretty. When you open it up, it continues. So there's still more decoration. And then let's open it up further and let's go ahead and let's glue our beautiful um, teacup <laughs> right there. My Porch Prints is where this is from. Wait a second. Wait a second. I'm making this a pocket. So I just need the top part glued. So I just need this part right here glued and not this part because that's where we're going to stick our little tickets in just like this so let's get that down okay and then here are our tickets and what a beautiful color perfect for this absolutely perfect and maybe we want to add a number or a label or something maybe right down there i kind of like that I'm not sure, I just thought it looked 
but brings your eye down a little bit so it's not just stuck on the tickets. Okay. Oh my goodness, that's pretty inside, isn't it? Now, right here to finish this off, let's go ahead and let's get our punch. So this is our hole punch. And I want to punch, I'm just going to look to see about where the middle is. And it's about, let's see here. Here we go. It's right here. I'm going to punch it in pretty good because I don't want it to pull out. So I went ahead and I've colored some of the circle sabers. And I don't trust these things, so I like to go ahead and add some more glue on them and then put them right here. Now, if you want, you could use a rivet, but I just figured since our little project is making some things that maybe we don't have and using things that, you know, not everyone has a rivet. Um, setting a rivet setter, I guess that's the word, I don't, I guess that's what you call it, that um, we would just use our circle savers, because I think they're really nice. Now, do we want to add a little bow on here? These are Shabby Dabby Doodah bows. I love her little bows. I think they're so pretty. I actually like this. This one works really nice right there. I'm not sure if um, we want a number this is actually a Shabby Dabby Doodah number as well. Maybe the number can go on the side. I don't know. I like this style of bow on here, but I like this color better. I wonder how we can make this work. Maybe just bring it down over like that. Hmm. Let's see. We're playing here. Oh, that looks much better. Let's go ahead and glue it over to the side like that. I'm going to add some hot glue because this is on cardstock. So I'm just going to pull it down right like that. I like that a lot. Let's add our number right here. Just like this. Okay. Now, I have a little bit of seam binding. It's not ironed or anything. I really thought that maybe we could take it and put it around like this. I don't know, maybe there would be too many bows with the bow on the eye, on our piece of ephemera, and then, yeah, it'll be just fine. I love it. It kind of looks like a present, doesn't it? What a beautiful color, too. And then, of course, you would untie it. And then you would open it up, so interactive. And then you'd have some tickets to write on. And you'd have some journaling space right inside. Oh, I love this piece of ephemera. I think it, this has turned out wonderful. And I love the many different ways in which we used our background papers. So many ways. Let me see here if I can get this tied back. Nope. Goodness gracious. There we go. So we have our piece we made. We, I showed you that I made a beautiful envelope. Another styled envelope. A little fold out. A three pocket. Another fold out. And a faux envelope. Oh, you guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give me a thumbs up. I invite you to subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in my next video. I'll see you there, guys. Bye now.